good morning students today we are going to talk about representation of short and medium transmission line before going to representation of short and medium transmission line we first know that the transmission line has been categorized based on the distance or the span as short transmission line medium transmission line and long transmission line so today we are going to talk only about short and medium transmission line in this we are going to discuss about classification of overhead transmission line and short and medium transmission line so first of all we should know about the various line parameters so what are the three main line parameters or uh, line constants are resistance inductance and capacitance which are distributed uniformly along the whole length of the line the resistance and inductance form the series impedance that is z is equal to r plus j omega l right the capacitance existing between the conductors for single phase line or for a conductor to neutral for three phase line forms a shunt path through the length of the line so r and l are the series impedances and capacitance forms the shunt path through the length of the transmission line therefore capacitance effect introduces complications in the transmission line calculations now depending upon the manner in which the capacitance is taken into account the overhead transmission lines are classified as short transmission line length is around 11 80 kilometers or 50 miles we can say voltage level is 11 to 11 and 33 kv lines and parameters considered for short transmission line is only r and l as it is already discussed while uh, calculation of line parameters that for short transmission line we ignore the capacitance because the span is less the next is medium transmission line here the line length is 50 to 160 km total line that is 50 to 100 miles voltage level is 66 and 132 kv and here comes the capacitance parameter as well so while modeling of medium transmission line we have to consider all the three parameters that is resistance inductance and capacitance next is long transmission line length of long transmission line is usually about 160 kilometers or about 100 miles the voltage level is about 132 kv and again here we are going to consider r l and c parameters so now we have to talk about the important terms where during modeling of the transmission line so first is voltage regulation when a transmission line is carrying current there is a voltage drop in the line due to resistance and inductance of the line definitely there is losses in the transmission line right so the result is that the receiving end voltage that is represented by vr of the line is generally less than that of the sending end voltage which is represented by vs all right so this voltage drop that is sending and voltage minus the receiving end voltage in the line is expressed as a percentage of receiving end voltage vr and is called as voltage regulation so you should remember this formula voltage regulation is equal to vs that is sending end voltage minus the receiving end voltage upon receiving end voltage into 100 this gives the voltage regulation next is transmission efficiency the power obtained at the receiving end of a transmission line is generally less than the sending end power due to losses in the line resistance right so the ratio of receiving end power to the sending end power of a transmission line is known as the transmission efficiency of the line so percentage trans Uh, transmission efficiency is given by receiving end power upon sending end power into 100 you also have to re remember this formula so first uh, the formula for voltage regulation is vs minus vr upon vr 
into 100 and the second formula which you need to remember is transmission efficiency that is receiving end power upon sending end power into 100. So now next we are going to talk about performance of single phase short transmission line. As we have already discussed that effect of line capacitance are neglected for short transmission lines. Therefore, while studying the performance of such a line, only resistance and inductance of the line are taken into consideration. Now we are going to talk about the equivalent circuit of single phase transmission line. So the total resistance and total inductance of the line are shown as lumped form or the concentrated form okay so this is the equivalent circuit of the short transmission line so this is the lumped resistance this is the lumped inductance and that is loop reactance and this is the sending end voltage this is the load and voltage across the load is the receiving end voltage so let us first discuss about some of the parameters which we have to consider so i is the load current this i is the load current r is the loop resistance Okay. Now XL is the loop reactance, VR as I have already discussed receiving end voltage, cos phi R that is receiving end power factor. So we have to now take uh, consider the power factor as well. So cos phi R is the receiving end power factor. Why it is lagging? So this load can be inductive. Usually the load is inductive. Motors, vagera are inductive loads, right? So that's why power factor is lagging. We have considered it as lagging power factor. Vs is the sending end power and cos phi s is sending end power factor. So this is the short transmission line represented in form of equivalent circuit and this is the phase diagram phase diagram is od see this od is the taken as a reference and here uh, let us consider this as the current right so this is oa this is the receiving end voltage as we are considering the uh, lagging power factor that's why vr is leading the current load current i okay so this is vr receiving end voltage so the angle between vr and i is phi r so the power factor will be cos phi r okay so this is the ir loss in the line and due to the resistance and this is i xl loss xl is pure inductive right that's why this is 90 degree okay so this receiving end voltage plus these two losses gives the sending end voltage so this is the total vs this is the way we are going to draw the phase diagram okay now in this diagram we have to consider that o c d triangle right angle triangle o c d so o c square is equal to o d square plus d c square so o d can be written as o e plus e d square uh, whole square plus this d c can be written as d b plus p c whole square okay so this is the representation these are the values which you will get from the phase diagram from this we are going we have to calculate percentage voltage regulation then sending and power factor will be od upon oc cos theta is equal to base upon hypotenuse so this comes out to be vr cos phi r plus ir upon vs so total power delivered is vi cos phi so power delivered means delivered at the receiving end or the load side that's why we are ir cos phi r so total line losses will be i square r losses and power send means it is at the 
sending end so that is equal to vr ir cos phi plus the losses so percentage transmission efficiency will be power delivered upon power sent out so power delivered is vr ir cos phi upon vr ir cos phi r plus i square r into 100 so that is the transmission efficiency now three phase short transmission line here we are simply going to consider that a star connected generator is supplying a star connected load so it is a balanced system so here there are three different l three different r but uh, while modeling of the uh, this system three phase uh, short transmission line we are going to consider lumped r and lumped xl and similar uh, analysis will be done okay next is medium transmission line so in medium transmission line what we uh, what uh, additional parameter will be considered so that will that is the capacitance so in short transmission line calculations the effect of the line capacitance are neglected because such lines have smaller lengths and transmit power at relatively low voltage but when we talk about medium transmission line they have got sufficient length and usually operate at voltage voltage level greater than 20 kV the effect of capacitance thus cannot be neglected therefore in order to obtain reasonable accuracy in the medium transmission line calculations the capacitance has to be considered at any cost next the capacitance is uniformly distributed over the entire length of the line just as R and L However, in order to make the calculation simpler, again we are going to consider the lumped capacitance or concentrated capacitances. Now, according to the placement of these capacitances, there are basically three models. So, first is N condenser method, one is nominal T method, and the third one is nominal pi method. You will see how the capacitance is placed in each of the methods so first we are going to talk about n condenser method here the capacitance is placed uh, closer to the load this is r this is xl and this is c so it is the capacitance is lumped at the receiving end or near the load end Okay. Vs is the sending end voltage, Vr is the receiving end voltage and this is the load current Ir, this is sending uh, end current Is. Now here there are two currents because the capacitance, shunt capacitance is coming into picture. So therefore Is and Ir, there are two currents. Next is nominal T method, in this the resistances are distributed that is r by 2 r by 2 and xl is also distributed xl by 2 xl by 2 and the capacitance is considered at the center of the line again this is a lumped capacitor but here we have we but here vr will not be equal to v1 in n condenser method what was happening the capacitance uh, the voltage across the capacitance was equal to that of vr but here the case is different so the resistance and inductances are distributed over here and this the shape of this model looks like t that's why this is called as nominal t method so in this method the whole line capacitance is assumed to be concentrated at the middle point of the line and half the line resistance and reactance are lumped on its either side. Okay. Nominal pi model may what it is done. R and L is lumped at the center and the capacitance, half of the capacitance is lumped or considered near the sending end point and half of the capacitance is considered near the load side. So this model looks like pi. These are the two lines of the pi and this. So this is nominal pi model. Okay. Thank you.